Yeah, and that Saturday rain was a record breaker yeah. for rain, but it was one of those records that just had to go away. It was one of those <laughs> ridiculous records that you see in the book, and it's like, how in the world does it never rain on the 28th of December? Well, it certainly did this year. KB Complete CityCam checking out the skyline of Kansas City. This is from our Briarcliff camera, a beautiful high-definition camera, and you can check out some of the runway lights there in the downtown airport. Right now, the temperature is running just below freezing. Liberty is one of the cooler spots at 27. Blue Springs, a couple degrees better at 29 degrees and Lee Summit not bad waking up to about 30 degrees at the moment Belton is a degree cooler at 29 now here's some area temperatures this does not factor in the wind we have an overcast sky the wind is a little bit blustery outside but it's keeping the temperature just below freezing at the official reporting spot that's at KCI 31 Olathe matching it a little bit warmer quite a bit warmer actually in Harrisonville at 36 degrees well wind speeds up to 22 miles per hour. You can see the wind direction here. That's what these little wind barbs here are indicating. More of a west to northwesterly breeze across the area. 23 mile an hour wind in Maryville. Look what that's doing to wind chills. 13 is what it feels like when you step out the door in Maryville. 18 in Kansas City. 19 in Olathe. And where it's above freezing in Harrisonville, it's feeling like it's well below freezing at 24 degrees. So make sure you dig out the heavy coats today for sure. Hour by hour temperatures will keep it at 31 through 9, 33 then at lunchtime and mid 30s take over at about 4 o'clock. But it's not going to feel like that. Not at all. It feels much, much cooler today. 18 is the wind chill at uh, 7, 17 at 9, 31 will be your wind chill at noon and then back down to about 25 degrees again by about 4 o'clock. So yeah, wind chills. They'll make your teeth chatter today. You see those little white spots? That's indicating snow. Not much, but just enough to give you a fine little dust over. So far, at least from what I found today, I didn't have any travel problems getting into work today, but I did notice some of the pavement just a slight bit on the wet side. I'd call it more damp than I would wet. Uh, just keep in mind, with temperatures below freezing, there could be, possibly, a couple of uh, icy patches out there. Later this week, this is Thursday, later in the afternoon, maybe a little skiffed over of light rain. That'll push on through. And then this, that's snow, that's Friday, and that's in the evening hours. But that only lasts about an hour, just like boom, boom. You get a little bit of snow that falls, and then skies will clear out just in time for your weekend. Clear but cold this weekend. Let's check out that forecast for snow. All the way through Thursday, nothing. And then all of a sudden, eh, that may be a half inch, quarter inch. I just call it a nice little dust over of snow. A closer look at that would show about nine uh, tenths of an inch of snow. I think that's even on the high side. Security Bank 7 day, 35 Monday, 44 Tuesday, 53 degrees on the first day of 2020. Beautiful New Year's Day, 50 on Thursday. And there's those light little precipitation chances toward the end of next week before temperatures cool a bit over this upcoming weekend.